Hey everyone, this is Alex or PolyMomoT and today I have a tutorial slash watch me resin slash experiment uh, making this resin pond and it's a complete sphere. So I'm using this ice ball mold that I got from Amazon and usually you put it in like some nice wine or cocktails but I decided to use it and make a spherical resin pond out of it. So I'm taking some resin and I'm pouring into the bottom of the mold and I'm adding some pebbles and rocks to it to kind of give it the base. And I'm getting a lighter to kind of just pop the surface bubbles. While the resin is still tacky, I'm adding just a polymer clay fish into the resin. Just kind of have it resting. After the resin has cured, I'm adding another fish just on top to kind of give it like two fish swimming in two different depths and I'm adding a little bit of resin to fill the rest of the bottom half of the mold and then I'm putting the other mold cap onto the mold and I'm filling the rest of the mold with resin all the way. After the resin has cured after 24 hours, I'm peeling off the silicon mold off the resin piece. And as you can see, it's a little bit cloudy when you take it out of the silicon mold, but it's okay because we're going to glaze it later. So there's this excess resin from where the silicon mold meets, so I'm just taking my clay blade and I'm just kind of shaving it off in a circular motion, kind of like how you peel an apple. And then I'm glazing all over the resin pond. As you can see, you can now see through the resin pond much better, but I didn't fill the mold all the way because there was a hole at the top, so I just decided to fill it up with UV resin because I didn't feel like waiting 24 hours for the resin to set. So this is my first spherical resin pond, and I'm actually okay with the result. There are a lot of bubbles on the top part of the pond because I wasn't able to blow it out with a lighter. But if there's some way that I can like maybe brush it off as I pour in the resin, it'd be okay. And as you can see, when you roll the pond around, it actually lands on the bottom because it's so heavy where the rocks are. So it actually stands up by itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of experiment and don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you.